Welcome to the Award Show once again on Anidi TV. Today I have in the studio a prominent lady, and she is the daughter of the late Air Vice Marshal John Odate Bano. Welcome, Marina. Thank you. Uh, who is your father? My father is Air Vice, like you just mentioned his name, okay. Air Vice Marshal John Odate Bano. All right. He was an Air Force officer. Mm -hmm. Air Force pilot. Okay. And he started as a cadet officer and rose to the rank of Air Vice Marshal. Okay. He held the highest position in the military, being mm -hmm. the Chief of Defense Staff. Okay. Well, what is so surprising about your father and few investigations I've actually conducted about him? Um, he wasn't that out, although most people. Even most people in Ghana believe that Rawlings seems to be the top um, uh, Air Force person, but he wasn't. Your father was one who flew uh, an air, 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 you know, is it, what's the a name fighter. of the aircraft? Yes, yeah, Mackie. From, from, from Canada to... Yeah, the Caribou, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, so, Daddy yeah. flew the Caribou from Canada mm -hmm. to Ghana. Yeah. All by himself. All by himself, yes. An excellent man. Yeah. But he was um, in the Achampong government, wasn't he? Well, he was appointed by Achampong right. um, to serve in Rome as Ghana's ambassador to Italy, Te okay. Turkey, and Malta. All at once? Yes. Okay. How old was he when he was appointed? He was one of the youngest, okay. I must say, very proud of my father. He was one of the youngest ambassadors then. He was 32 when he was made ambassador. Ambassador. What is quite troubling is, and I would like to dive into um, the areas of a champion's government, where most generals were labeled as corrupt, um, and very strangely, your father was never among those who were selected to be executed. Why was that? Selected to be executed. Well, Daddy was... Daddy was a very humble person. Daddy would not... would teach us not to... just the fact that we had fee didn't allow us to meddle in other people's business. So he was the sort of person who would do things right because he was bringing up, his family was meant so much to him and he loved his, his country and served it right. So he wouldn't, you wouldn't find him in any kind of business that wasn't to do with the military. Mm -hmm. And military comes with discipline. Mm -hmm. And when you mention discipline, discipline means honesty and um, seven, your country with all truth, with the truth. So you wouldn't find him doing or engaging himself in any kind of things that would put him into any kind of embarrassment. Was he even arrested during that time? No, arrested for what? No, he but, didn't even leave the country. That it was CBS when, during the 81 coup. He was well, chief we, of defense. Yeah, we will get there. I, yeah. I just want to establish a point around the champion because... Right. He, he Why was, would he be he arrested? Was, he was an ambassador, right? Yes, he was an ambassador. And he was in Italy. He, he was then in Italy. He, he was, was in a, Italy and then came down mm -hmm. in 1977. Okay. And when he came down, he was made, he was appointed the second um, commandant of staff college. So he was, he was a commandant of staff college during... Yes, a champion's time. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and what uh, there was an overthrow. Do you, yes, I believe was, you, yeah. you know that. Mm -hmm. And he was not even arrested. That is what is troubling. I mean, most uh, you are saying that he was then a commandant. Yes, he um, was, he was, he was and, a top, highly regarded and respected yes. soldier. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, so were other people, yeah. including um, uh, Major Rita and, and what have you. And most of them were arrested. Your father wasn't arrested. No, was there the connection there was between no, him there, and there, there was a, a, he, he, a champion liked him very much because he was a very smart soldier. Okay. Smart 
smart officer, very intelligent and very humble. And there was no reason to arrest him. There was no reason to arrest him. For whatever reason anyone was arrested, mm -hmm. he, he wasn't arrested. There was no reason at all. What was his relationship like with Rollins? He was a student. Daddy was a fighter pilot. Okay. And that is the, um, that is the area Rollins was in. He, he was a, also a fighter pilot, so mm. he, he was a student. Did he get along? Um, with the military, mm. where discipline is a... You, you, you don't get along. You mm. do as you're told. Mm -hmm. So he knew him as an officer, and that was it. Okay. I presume during the uh, Champon's uh, takeover, you were probably young. But yes, I was. What can you recall of the day? I was in boarding school. Okay. And um, we had that something had happened. At that time, it was scary because we didn't know how far or what was happening. Mm -hmm. So we were taken from school. Um, okay. We were brought down from what school was that I in? I think I was in Achimata. You were in Achimata. Yeah. You found that oh, out? Yeah, yeah. You okay. Were in and we were brought okay. home. Right. So that is all that I know that we were being protected. Good. Yeah. By protected by, by the by um our the parents or your... uh, our parents and um soldiers and um officers because we had home and um we were being told what to do don't go to these places and when we needed stuff mm -hmm. it was brought to the residents mm -hmm. yeah that kind of and thing and was your father there yeah daddy was w would you consider that a house arrest it wasn't no he wasn't under house arrest he was moving freely okay um and everything was very highly protected i mean nothing was coming out mm. we were we didn't know we were just like staying at home and all mm. that but um everything was top was really protected all we could see was confusion but we I, if you ask me now to explain what was going on i wouldn't be able to tell you because i was a child and those were the day, days where you're not spoken to and you don't speak until you're spoken to that kind of discipline that kind of training mm -hmm. so you wouldn't go and ask what is happening what was our gunshot or we're shown how to um survive mm -hmm. by when something happens we're protected in a certain way where you don't ask questions mm -hmm. when asking questions okay you, you you did as you told all right at the time i yes. believe you understand that most generals that were you know executed um and and the major reason for that takeover um by the coup makers was an allegation of senior officers having very luxurious lifestyle um, right. than the junior officers. Would right. you consider your family to be in that category of luxury um, family lifestyle? Well, sort of? when you say luxury, yeah. what is luxury? If you say luxury or privilege, yeah. and you say that, yes, I was brought up in a very humble way mm -hmm. and taught how to love people and okay. share, right. yes, I was privileged okay. because that's how my parents brought me. But if you're talking about material things, right. no. We didn't have anything. My father was a poor officer from Osu, and um, we were taught to respect others, especially the, our house help and people who served us. Mm. We were brought up to serve mm -hmm. rather than to feel like we were a mm. general's daughter or a mm. commandant's daughter. Okay. Um, so we didn't. I didn't have my nose in the up in the air or anything. Right. I learned to understand and feel for people who were not privileged. Okay. So if you say, if you're calling luxury, being able to love and mm -hmm. share, mm -hmm. yes, right. that's privilege. Now, Major Bwachi Jan, I had an interview with him, and I made reference to one uh, Esther Odate Wellington. Right. Um, so and, yeah, uh, Major Bwachi was quite clear that y most of you guys came to Achimoto School in a very luxury convoy and were not. And that was what he believed that you guys, I mean, your parents, were, you know, probably misusing uh, funds uh, by uh, onto the country. 
and it was only going to the very few, which is yourselves. What's your take on that? Did you ever go to school with a convoy? Convoy? Convoy mm. of what? Fleet of cars, security. Oh, I see what mm. you mean. Mm. Um, no. What car did your father use? My father had his official car, mm -hmm. which was then, when he was CDS, mm -hmm. it was uh, a Mercedes Benz. When okay. he was Air Force Commander and Commandant of Staff College, it was a 504, if I, mm. yeah, a, fi a green mm. 504, a Peugeot 504. And my mummy had an, a, what was it, an Opel Ascona, a red Opel Ascona. Mm. But no, I didn't go to school in. Why would I? My, my father protected us. Our parents protected us. So mm. why would I go to school for, like that? I mean, if you're protecting your child, you wouldn't like to expose them to such... Well, I, I didn't go to school like that. Um, yes, I remember some time ago when Daddy visited, he had an official engagement in Takradi. Okay. I attended... Um, I'd be supporter, secondary school in Takradi as well. Okay. And he came visiting, mm -hmm. but he had an official engagement. Mm -hmm. So he came in his car, and when they are traveling, mm -hmm. they don't travel just where he's got his ADC, he's got his bodyguard. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that will look to the outsider as mm -hmm. what is going on, mm -hmm. but he wouldn't be sounding the siren and for everybody to be looking at him. Who appointed your father to take the role, considering the fact that he was in their champions, sort of... General Kufu. Yeah, or oh, Kufu's sort of threat. So uh, how was he to take over uh, the... the, 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 the no, no, he didn't take up uh, their equivalent. Um, yeah. and the, but he assumed the role. Yes, he, he, yes. Okay. And why would he do that? He and was, 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 wasn't he appointed? He was appointed. By who? A Kufu. But the, I'm talking about after the execution. Oh, I see. Okay. That time, you see, that brief, I wouldn't know. I know that he was Air Force, he was um, Air, um, Chief of Air Staff yeah. at that time. Yeah. And then he had to hold or cover a position. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure about okay. that. And then he became CDS. Okay. So who appointed, I see where, where you're coming mm -hmm. from, but... Um, I'm not too sure. All right. Now, on the day that they were being executed, I mean, uh, uh, there was a lot of stories. Um, there was a lot of story about let the blood flow. Um, was that the situation? You were quite young. I was I mean, young. Yeah. But and let the blood flow is something that my parents wouldn't want us to hear. I mean, I never heard anything about it. Just later, mm -hmm. I understood that this is what was going on. Okay. And people were crying. But let the blood flow and the way um, saying all sorts of things. Later, when I asked my dad about that, he said people were power drunk mm. and people were under the influence of, that's how he dismissed it, that people were, officers and men were under the influence of all sorts of things, so they were misbehaving. Because in the military, it's shocking that that was allowed to happen. Because we have real officers who, mm dedicated officers who left their country. Mm -hmm. and my father was one of them okay. who loved to serve their country. So mm -hmm. it's shocking that that was allowed to happen. That was, that happened. It's okay. surprising. Right. Lee Man was then elected president of the country. Yeah. And your father served under, mm -hmm. under, under his uh, sort of government. Yeah. And, or in his government. Yeah. And he was the chief of defense staff. Yes, he was. How did you feel then, considering that you've just come out of an, you know? Very proud of him. Mm -hmm. I felt very proud of him because um, he was somebody who put his country first. Okay. And he was a shining example to other officers. Mm -hmm. Very smart, very handsome, very mm -hmm. good looking and intelligent mm -hmm. and so you look at him and you want to be like that mm -hmm. so yes i was very very proud that my father had become the chief of defense staff and i knew things would be right he'd be he was he had been put in a position where he could change he could bring about change and protect his country 
what happened to his um, the Lehman government? And because I can confidently say your father was a, ma a major player in that government. What happened? Most people accuse that government of a very corruption. good, very very good question, Andy. Yeah. You ask here. I would like to introduce my association. Sure. I am the founder and president mm -hmm. of the Ghana um, of the Armed Forces Children's, Children's Association, and our, our vision and mission is to make sure that the children who mm -hmm. suffered this we are, we are the product of what happened. Mm -hmm. We are the product of the coup and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I realize that that we've been pe a lot of people do not understand the kind of pain and trauma we have been through. Mm -hmm. And um, we are we are non governmental. Mm -hmm. We are non political. Mm -hmm. So I'm very careful what I say about politics because we are not politicians. We well, I understand me. That. We have. I may have my opinion. Yes, I want but to hear. I it. wouldn't. <laughs> I want to hear. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to step go into areas where it would affect me bringing my siblings, who are the sojibers, together. It's very important to me that I find them wherever they are and assist them. Yes. So we are going to get there. If you ask me yes. who was what and what happened and all that, mm -hmm. if it's going to put me in the position where mm -hmm. I'm going to be judgmental, I was shy, I would say. Try no, another question. Th 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 this is a, a very important question, considering that your father was a noble person. Mm. I mean, you clearly st stated you are a founder and president of a very beautiful association. I've seen some Thank of you. the good works you've done. Thank you. But most people also point in fingers at your father at some point, though very little has been said about him, mm. that he probably knew about all the coup. I would say. Yeah, he's not here to defend himself. So right. I would, I would say, he did hear bips and bobs about what was going right. to happen because okay. he had friends. Yeah. He had friends with the other ranks. Mm -hmm. He had friends with the um, officers as well. Mm -hmm. And he was, he he kept telling everybody's got a boss. He had his boss mm -hmm. to be well. Then was I think Rally Poku, yeah, okay. Mr. Rally Poku mm -hmm. was the defense minister, I think. Okay, and. Um, he had Liman as his, um, um, yeah, as uh, as a president, mm -hmm. and so his duty was to inform and tell. At some point, they had the situation in control, mm -hmm. and he was given advice. Mm -hmm. He was telling the government that this is the, the position. What should we do now? Mm -hmm. And um, they, wouldn't for, for, okay, okay. they wouldn't listen. They wouldn't listen. With his experience, mm -hmm. he, he was advising on certain things and that wasn't taken mm -hmm. into account. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You've got to, with the military, you've got to listen to what your um, boss says. You can't just do things because you think this is right or wrong. Mm -hmm. You can only advise. Mm -hmm. And uh, that w didn't sit down. It didn't go well. Oh, daddy, that didn't go well with um, certain people, so. On the night of, uh, of the 81 coup. Right. Um, you were at Adeba? Yes. Okay. Yes. And you, you danced with uh, the then uh, Vice President Dick Graft Johnson. Okay, you've got your facts right. And, yes. And then you also saw uh, then uh, uh, the Nana Aduma Kunyamiche, who yes, also has been on my, on my show. Yeah. Um, Interesting he, character. Yeah, he was tasked to, to take Liman down on the night. But did Liman. Take him down to well, well, I you know, arrest him. Right. Yeah, because that was the plot. That was the whole plan. Okay. So you probably have to go through some of my interviews to understand oh, right. what, what went on. But okay. that was happening around you. Whoa. Yeah, this was the dance floor. Okay. I was dancing with Degrev Johnson. Mm -hmm. um, my sister, my big sister, was dancing with Rally Poku. Mummy mm -hmm. danced with Liman. Yeah. So that's how close we were. Okay. All right. Okay. From that Deba, what happened? It started raining. It started mm -hmm. drizzling. I remember. Mm -hmm. I was young, but I remember very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had to be escorted off the dance floor mm -hmm. in a 
in a rush. Mm -hmm. That was strange, but mm -hmm. we didn't ask questions mm -hmm. and we were taken home. And then um, I remember daddy had to quickly, with his ADC and bodyguards, um, live in an ammoed car mm -hmm. that was um, positioned in the house. And that was it. He was in charge of all the ammo cars. Mm -hmm. Well, he, he was, was I, I would say here, he was one of the gen. I don't know, I don't know whether later other generals, um, he was one of the gen, he was, well, the only general then, mm -hmm. who was licensed to operate the Moat mm -hmm. car. He learned how he was, he had the interest and he learned how to um, operate it. So, yes. Um, I spoke to uh, one of the very soldiers that were tasked to arrest your father on the night when you guys headed home. Um, but your father had made his way out. Uh, and I don't know where you guys went to Makati Hill or something. Did no, you guys we stayed the, in you, number one room on Ridge. We stayed, we were protected. Left? We stayed until maybe two weeks in the house mm. and then we went to my grandmom's. Okay. Yeah. I think wow. he, was, he was quite protective of you. Yeah, I mean, he was. I mean, he did an excellent job. But, and I think he did a lot around you guys without giving a, no, any clue or no. hint out. So that, that is wonderful of him. But after the coup and Liman was ousted, um, he remained? Daddy, yes, stayed in his home till he passed away. Yes, he, he was commissioned by the Ghana military to write about the, um, the history for the army, mm -hmm. Ghana army, and the history of Ghana Air Force, okay. which he did with Professor S.K. Adai and mm -hmm. Colonel Joe Cranting. Mm -hmm. And um, he later took a position at, um, as the chairman of BAG, mm -hmm. Veterans Association. Mm -hmm of Ghana okay. until, yes, he passed away. But he stayed in the country. Daddy was the person who would not leave. Mm -hmm. he, he, was, he, didn't, he never left the country. He mm -hmm. stayed in his home mm -hmm. where everybody knew he was there. Mm -hmm. Nobody was looking. He didn't see the reason why he should, he should leave. He didn't see the reason why. He said, this is where the job is. This is where my work is. This mm. is where my dedication is. This mm. is where my... He, he was a Christian and he brought us up in a way to respect and to love. And that's why I call myself a privileged person because I know how to give love. I know how to love. I know how to respect and I know how to um, see that we are not all the same mm -hmm. and it's important to um, be together as a family which is the Sojaba family mm -hmm. and that is why the Armed Forces Children Association was created to look for because we are all over the place we are all over the world when this problem happened um, can you imagine that we are all protected in the camp the camp was the barracks was a, a a protected place where we were self-sufficient. You didn't have to go out for anything. We had our shops, we had our churches, we had everything in the mm -hmm. camp. So we weren't reliant on the outside world. Mm -hmm. So this is what we are trying to create as the Emphasis Job Now Association, to bring that back, that comfort. I realized that we were, we as children, we we're losing our parents, whether they were shot or whether they were dying of Good. normal. Good, and I think I would say you were, would you consider yourself lucky? Maintaining a presence at the forefront of a global issue with the desire to help others come to a resolve in personal and business affairs is why Andy D. Legal and Immigration Associate was established. We specialize in overseas British passport applications, bills and temporary admission, deportation and detention cases. The profound pattern in achieving positive results with fragile cases in immigration, nationality, European Union and human right law, adoption, marriage, divorce, litigation and so on up to date has been broken and that is why our client base continues to expand. We also do representations at the UK border agencies and overseas consulate, human rights law and settlement and leave to remain applications. We have the right keys to unlock any case across the spectrum of law locally in London and across the borders in Ghana 
where our other branches are established. We are located at 44 Broadway, Stratford, E15 1XH. Our telephone number is 0203 1300 751. Would you consider yourself lucky, considering one that was in a champion takeover, your father was harmless, um, was not harmed? Lehman takeover, he wasn't, neither was he arrested or tried for anything. And on a normal basis, with his sort of experience, and expertise, they, they will normally will call him to question him about something. And not for once in any of those scenarios was he ever caught. Well, you yeah. say lucky. I yeah. don't think it's any... I don't think lucky is the word. Daddy, uh, he was a very open person. He mm. was very humble and he was a dedicated Christian. Mm -hmm. What would you want to ask John Barnard? What would you... What would you have against him? What would you... What are you going to ask him? What, what are you going to arrest him for? They, but they arrested a lot of generals. They, they arrested and they executed a lot yes, of generals. Yes, so why wasn't he arrested? Uh, exactly. I'm asking you, why do you think he well, wasn't I, arrested? You're the one who's spoken to yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, people. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. do you think he's not even mentioned? Well, that is where the problem out is. Out of respect. Out of respect? Yeah, out of respect, knowing that you'll be doing the wrong thing by casting or saying anything wrong about this man. He was a fine officer, and anyone who was privileged to meet him mm -hmm. was blessed. Mm -hmm. But my mommy was a teacher, and she had to uh, retire, well, leave her job because daddy became Ghana's ambassador mm -hmm. to help in, you know, like they say, behind every successful man that is a woman. So she gave up her career, mm -hmm. and she's a teacher, so we were also brought up in to have all these fine qualities and everything. So um, there was nothing to arrest Jumbano for. He had nothing you would want, okay. apart from his intelligence, and if that was... Was he ever recalled by Rollins to serve in his PNDC government? No. That's... I, that would, I would say, was it's an impossibility because when there's a change of government, mm -hmm. there's a change of CDS, a new okay. CDS is appointed. So, no, even if he wanted to, um, I don't see. I think Rollins would be too... It would be disrespectful to ask a soldier, like fine officer mm -hmm. like him, mm -hmm. especially if they were from the same unit, mm -hmm to come and serve under his um, government. Okay. That would be, pff, I don't know what to say, but no. You, 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 okay. Well, no, I, I mean, it, there's, there's I, no way. He, he, I think he had too much respect for him. He wouldn't, to serve, no. Okay. Now, after the overthrow and he was deployed, what was, the relationship like with any of the PNDC government members? Uh... He watched and prayed. He watched because um, he, had, he, he had vision. Mm -hmm. He could tell. You know, soldiers are not meant to behave in a certain way. Um, the mistakes that people did was Ghanaians are very fond of supporting and cheering up and, you know, and given false hope mm. to things that are not. Uh, when there's change, everybody like would follow and uh, support blindly, just, I don't know, for whatever reason. But it was clear that soldiers are meant to be in their barracks. They're meant to be in their camp, not meddling in, you know? A lot of things happened, and if we should sit back and watch, would realize that the mistakes, I'll call it mistakes because mm -hmm. um, I'm also okay. a very honest person. Mm -hmm. The mistakes that we did, mm -hmm. our parents have shown us mm -hmm. we shouldn't be doing the same mistakes. Okay. And this is why it's very important for me to call out to the armed forces children to come together and serve, use the discipline that was instilled in us mm -hmm. in every corner they are found, whether mm -hmm. it's 
in their jobs mm -hmm. or in their communities. Mm -hmm. So we'll bring a fresh start. We'll start mm -hmm. the next generation in a way to be truthful. Mm -hmm. Like we were brought up. We were mm -hmm. brought up to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. We were brought up to... We're, we're disciplined. So if we are able to be leaders wherever we are, we can have a, an impact on the next generation. I saw a picture of you and Zenita Rollins. Are you friends? She's my, I'm the, I am the founder and president of the Armed Forces Children's Association. Are you friends? I don't decide on who I choose as family or friends. Okay. Everybody's under the umbrella, whether they, it's not our fault that we find ourselves in this situation. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, I didn't have a choice as to who what my parents should be. Neither did the senator have a choice who her, I'm not judging or saying that anybody has ever. Mm -hmm. um, yes, she's my sister. She's my sort of bus sister. And so, yes, if you saw a picture of us, it was in order. Why? Because we are learning to come together, forgive each other, mm -hmm. and to use this different talents. And she's a very, very intelligent girl. Mm -hmm. um, use the talents and the skills we have mm -hmm. to change our country. Okay. And in respect of, if you've met Rollins? Yes, I've met him. Okay. And I've got a lot of godfathers. Okay. And he happens to, whether he likes it or not, he's one of them. The reason why I say that is, with, you need to f know the truth. You mm -hmm. need to find out. I'm saying Ghanaians know the truth, but mm -hmm. yes, we're still seeking the truth. Mm -hmm. If you're saying somebody's not telling the truth, mm -hmm. you know it already. So why are you seeking it? Mm -hmm. You know the truth and you're seeking the truth. You know it. What we are failing to do, we are marking time, mm -hmm. wasting time, mm -hmm. 40 years of do something with your life. Mm -hmm. Because somebody says, die, do you die? No, that's mm -hmm. not me. And this is what my father taught me. When I lost my father, that was my wake up call. Mm -hmm. I realized that, okay, he has to continue living mm -hmm. because there's so much. Jesus Christ hasn't got a body now. Mm -hmm. We are his body. Mm -hmm. So if you've lost your parent, mm -hmm. Don't sit down and lick you. Oh. I'm getting to a point where okay. I believe that you are a, a, a very um, forgiving and humble person. And uh, you came up with this brilliant idea of forming that Sujaba movement. Yeah. And that included the Zenator, uh, Zenator Rollins. It and includes included everybody. Other, uh, yes. Uh, no, consider... Let, let, me, let me correct you there. Yeah. With our association. Right. Once you're a military child, mm -hmm. you're part of it by default. Once you're born into the military, military. yes, okay. you are part of right. us. Right. And that is what I find very humbling and right. quite a good thing for you to have that. What made you take such a step? Okay. I realized that um, there was an association for um, the wives, ex uh, military wives right. and um, military officers mm -hmm. and men. But there wasn't an association for children. Mm -hmm. And we're losing our children. We didn't know much. We didn't know the history. We didn't know things that had, we didn't have the understanding of anything. Mm -hmm. And we we're losing them. Mm -hmm. So I thought and said, look, um, some of us are not doing very well. We've been traumatized. We've, we've gone through so much. Mm -hmm. Some of us are in prison. Some mm -hmm. of us are, if, there's so much going on mm -hmm. because of the situation we right. found ourselves in. So why don't we build that umbrella where there's a balance. The, th the main thing that started the coups in the camp, saying that some people were privileged and some others were not privileged. Mm -hmm. Let's create the balance. So the association is made of non-commissioned officers' children mm -hmm. and commissioned officers' children. Mm -hmm. So we are one. We grew up in the barracks. Mm -hmm. We all grew up and we had the same kind of... How, how long has it been in existence? Since 2011. Okay. And what it is, is uh, we started by finding where people are. Okay. Um, I believe the experience which somebody you may call mm -hmm. privilege, mm -hmm. I have, I'm going to turn it into something positive. Mm -hmm. My father was an ambassador, so mm -hmm. I know that when people are in trouble, you can mm -hmm. go to the high commission. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm trying to teach people. You have the confidence, you are so, you're a soldier's um, child, mm -hmm. a soldier. You should be able, if you're in a country, mm -hmm. go to the high commission for help. Go to them. It's 
They are there to listen to us, to help us. Go to them. Don't be afraid. Don't think that um, you're not welcome. I have the confidence because I have the exposure of knowing what my father did whilst he was not in Ghana mm -hmm. um, um, as an ambassador. Mm -hmm. So that has given me the exposure mm -hmm. of helping those who do not know. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, oh, that's um, yeah. yeah. These are my godfathers. Yeah. I tell the um, military high command mm -hmm. that we are their voices. Okay. One minute they're in office, mm -hmm. the next minute they're on civil street, mm -hmm. and so they have helped us grow our teeth. Okay. We should help them lose their teeth. So we have to take care of them, and. The, our strength lies from the fact that every single day a military child is being born. Yeah? Okay. One minute they are there, mm -hmm. we've gone through how many CDs? Next minute they are not there. Mm -hmm. And they should be listening to us and supporting us, which they do. Mm -hmm. They've done a lot. I mean, if I start mentioning, I'm not going to drop names now, because if I don't mention somebody's name, it's going to be, oh, have you forgotten? But before I came on to this show, mm -hmm. um, I had a few of my godfathers call and... Um, when I say godfathers, my father died and I inherited so many godfathers, okay. meaning them, any military yeah. um, officer or right. uh, other ranks, especially there. They are my lost, biggest fans. Have you lost friends ever since? I mean, considering the fact that I, I have nothing against the, the Rollins and all the other rest, but people... Um, with sentiments, um, ch other children. Um, okay. uh, have you lost any? I I went to school with the Champons, the Felis, mm -hmm. the Utukas, the mention who Liman was my next door neighbor in Teshinungwa. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that there were occasions where, when you're saying that we haven't gotten there, but I was next na door neighbor to Liman when mm -hmm. he was overthrown. Okay. And several times I came out of my house mm -hmm. to help him push his car. Can you believe it? So, um, anyway, <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't touched on that. Um, do you, your question was, do, have I made enemies? I don't make enemies. I go with me. Mm -hmm. I, I'll find you wherever you are. I'll come, there, whether it's in the States, whether it's in wherever, because mm -hmm. I've traveled a lot. I, I was, in an, um, was in aviation, so mm -hmm. I have traveled a lot. And any country I go to, I look for my people. I look for my siblings. So whether it's Utica, whether it's um, Udati Wellington, mm -hmm. whether it's Achampong, mm -hmm. Feli, some of them were my classmates, mm -hmm. uh, the judges, mm -hmm. one of them was, um, well, four of them, I know all of them. Mm. I went to school with them. One of them was my mate, that kind of thing. So when you're talking about pain, and mm -hmm. I know, and I'll go to you, I would not shy from you, whether you want to see me or not, I'll mm. go to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm coming with love. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to say? You've been making a lot of donations yes. um, to, um, is it the school? Uh, yes, so, um, for schools, schools yeah. and yeah. Uh, and you've been doing remarkably well. Thank you. Um, and oh. yeah, so you see, with all the, wow. the, the you, 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 are, you are just excellent. And Thank you. Did you think it all, the idea came after you lost your father, or how did it no, all start? No, this, he was alive. This, I think he was alive. Okay. But it's what, yeah, I spoke to daddy about it, but there okay. were other officers. There was Kennel Jones Mentor. Okay. Actually, my 2IC, which is my vice president's okay. yeah. son. Mm -hmm. He was very instrumental in getting us together and okay. speaking to, um, at first, the, there was this question of, should military children be brought together? Yeah, you know yeah, why. Yeah, 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 and well. I wouldn't have no for an answer. I mean, we are your children. You can't say we shouldn't, we don't assist. We assist. And if we come together, if we repair, if we are not going to be like our parents mm -hmm. and we repair, mm -hmm. we'll be able to change. We shouldn't be selfish. Yeah. We shouldn't mark time. Right. We should look ahead. Ahead. Yeah. And try to change things. And that's what, that's just you what we're going to do. You're quite popular in Ghana Armed Forces, <laughs> aren't you? When uh, you say popular, I don't live on past glories. <laughs> I don't live on well, uh, current glories. I don't stop. I, 
I'm a jet fighter pilot's daughter. That means a lot. And, and you? that's it. You're very energetic too. Yeah. At any point, did you try to join the army and your father restricted you? I wanted to. The old man thought, oh, okay. this woman is too feisty to be okay. in the military. He didn't want me. He said, I wanted to be a pilot. And he said, I thought you already did night flying, meaning, okay. you know yeah, what he meant. I, yeah, I didn't yeah. find that funny at all. But okay. yeah, he thought I was too allegro, allegro <laughs> to um, be in the... So, <laughs> yes, um, I... I wasn't able because of the coup. Uh -huh. When we say people were killed, yeah. some people lost their lives. They couldn't see their father. My father died on the 31st of December. He loved his career very much. So can you imagine at the age of 42, his career has been cut short. He's there, not knowing what tomorrow will bring. All he had was his faith and hope. Mm -hmm. I had to continue school and join Ghana Airways. Mm. I had to go to work. So um, I didn't have the chance to do my university until recently mm. I did my oh, master's in international tourism, tourism. and aviation management. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I'm looking at the future. I'm not thinking about myself. I'm thinking about Ghana. Ghana has lost a lot. And through tourism, we could bring a lot of things that have been lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we can bring people back into the country to be interested. You've got a beautiful country. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm thinking. Viviation and um, tourism mm -hmm. complement each other. Together. Yes. Yeah. So that's why I took in that. And I did very well. Very proud of myself. And this is to show my children that, look, if mommy can do it, you have mm -hmm. no excuse. And I'm, I, I, I say to my friends, mm -hmm. if I can do it, I'm mm -hmm. married to this, my Mr. boyfriend Kinsley, then. You know. Yes, no. yeah. All right. um, David, <laughs> David, who's very supportive. He's okay. the person who he would say, no, no, be careful. Don't mm -hmm. do this, don't do that. He advises me. I don't do anything without, he's my best friend. And he supported me a lot. He's a son of Justice Kinsley. You know, I don't know okay. whether you knew the electrical, electrical commission commissioner by then. Okay. I remember my daddy saying to him one day that when he came chasing me and daddy pulled him and said, daddy was so hot. Huh? Daddy said, when I was your age, I was flying caribous from Canada. <laughs> Africa, Canada and you are chasing my daughter and other things. But yeah, not my husband. Um, nobody has an excuse in my house. If mommy's doing it, what excuse have you got? You've done quite well. Thank you. And I'm proud of you. Now, few other children, sojabers, that are still battling with the horror from their past, what would you say to them? I would say, it's hard. We need help. Mm. If there's any support out there, we need that help. We shouldn't just say, okay, why? It's been so long. Why are you still? Uh, we shouldn't say that. But I'm saying it to them. Liv, if my daddy has achieved so much, mm -hmm. instead of pointing fingers at people who should be brought to this and that, I'll show and prove that this is what daddy did. This is what he stood for. And I'm going to, live, I'm going to let his legacy live on. That's what I'm doing. Daddy's living on. Um, he's gone, mm -hmm. but he's living on. Anybody mm -hmm. would see um, me, and that's why I remember one of the officers, the high commands, were saying, how come you're using your husband's name? Now all that you're doing, we're not seeing that it's daddy, the but brown. they know. Yes. I mean, you see my face, you, you see my face, you've seen daddy's okay. face. And um, what I would like to say to them is, live on. Mm. Today is ours. Mm -hmm. Let's take it. Let's let's do something with it. Mm -hmm. Let's work. Let's support each other. Mm -hmm. We we are all over the places, and the experience we had was for a reason. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, sometimes we paint the devil darker than the devil actually mm -hmm. is, and we are highlighting and bringing up and projecting people in a certain way. We are giving them too much of our time. Mm -hmm. What have you done with your time? Mm. Okay, this was then. Mm. What have you done as a person? Okay. You know, okay. I know, like as, as I'm married to David and all that, outside there, I'm very instrumental, very powerful. When I get there, I know who my master is. I know who my master is. Because that's how my parents brought us up, to respect and to serve. If you don't know how to serve, then you really have a problem. So okay. we just... 
we should we should be Christians okay or have faith mm -hmm. that whatever has happened mm -hmm. Whether it needed to happen or not, mm -hmm. we shouldn't turn into little gods or witches mm -hmm. okay. to try to arrest a certain spirit. It would come by itself. It's mm -hmm. coming. All right. Now, if anybody wants to support Afka, what can they do? If you want to support Afka, now we're trying to put structure into the COVID mm -hmm. and the, this pandemic has really brought a lot of awareness of how mm. we should do things. So mm -hmm. we're going to put a lot of structure. We are in the midst of putting things into mm -hmm. place. And so um, if you contact me mm -hmm. or contact me on Facebook as well, mm -hmm. um, Armed Forces Children Association or Marina Kinslinina, mm -hmm. Marina Kinslinina. Um, yes, um, you okay. can all oh, contact you. Good. Yes, contact Good. you, Andy. Okay. You are going to be my next best friend. <laughs> no problem. So I, I want you to, anytime you have an interview okay. concerning the coup and all mm. that, please, 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 we are the future. Of course. We are the future. Yeah. So you have to mention us, mm -hmm. whichever way, if somebody wants to support of us, course. they should contact you all right. and then we'll start. At the moment, we are having an online program on mm. the 29th of August. Okay. And um, it's, an, it's an online homecoming program. We mm. want to connect with other people mm. and we want them to start talking mm -hmm. because some people are shy, some people are scared, mm. some people are bottling, are still bottling things. Mm. It's time to talk. Mm -hmm. I remember recently, was it two days ago, somebody put a post on something to do with something and somebody said, oh, we should be sensitive about this. Let's talk. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, talk. Open mm. your mouth and talk. Mm -hmm. Talk freely and then let's get things sorted out. We can't go on like this forever. You had a very sincere chat with Rollins and I'm sure that helped you a lot. And How did you find that out? Well, and a, a lot of people would want the same sort of uh, privilege to sit with a man and ask him some few questions. You've had your fair share mm -hmm. and I think that actually is made you moved on. So, um, well done. Thank you. Um, but talking about the future, uh, we are in that political uh, year now where election is up. Um, and very soon we are going to elect another or an incumbent president will stay. What's your message to Ghanaians? Uh, my association is non political mm. and it's non governmental. Mm. But I would say change starts with us, mm -hmm. with one, me. Mm -hmm. If I want to implement change, mm -hmm. look within, mm -hmm. look at your corner, look mm -hmm. at your space. That's mm -hmm. the only control you have. Mm -hmm. So try to change yourself mm -hmm. and then it would impact on somebody else. Okay. We should try to love and be selfless and to help each other. Mm -hmm. We should unite. We mm. should not be too greedy and selfish. Mm. We shouldn't be envious mm. and we should educate ourselves. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't go spread and I'll, that's what, one thing I like about your show. Mm. People are having interviews and spreading all sorts of rumors that mm. are not taking us anywhere. Mm -hmm. And you are able to arrest anything that is mm. going to be negative mm -hmm. and which uh, well done for that because mm. we need that. Mm. Well. We should stop speculating and use our energy to yeah. love and create. Yeah. And I think the most important thing I, I am quite uh, keen to know about you is how to uh, bring about positivity, um, peace, and love. And considering that we have an upcoming election where a lot of people are, you know, fighting, and I think since you've lead it, give them a little bit of advice. I think, first of all, you sh we should l be able to love ourselves. Mm -hmm. If you love yourselves, you wouldn't portray yourself in a way that w would embarrass mm. you or anyone else. Mm -hmm. So love yourself, educate yourself. Mm -hmm. We are always changing our phones and upgrading this and upgrade. Upgrade yourself, respect yourself, be disciplined. When you have that, people look at you and would want to be part of you. I like to, wherever I go, I like to leave an impact. I like to share that kind of mm -hmm. likeness. 
and find the goodness in people. Mm -hmm. That's something my daddy taught me. You find the goodness in people. Don't look at, don't, he, this person did, this. Um, there is a God, Re, there is a God. Mm -hmm. If God has allowed certain things to happen, mm -hmm. don't, don't think God is crazy. Mm -hmm. there, there is a greater force that makes your things happen. Don't challenge it. Be in tune with yourself, respect yourself, mm -hmm. and then be productive. Be in tune with yourself and be productive. You heard it all from Mrs. Marina Kingsley Yina, also known as Mrs. Oh, Miss Bano. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> well, this is where time will bring us. And I'd like to thank you very much for honoring our invitation and supporting the program. Um, I'm now a Sujaba. Fantastic. No, Fantastic. Sorry, right? Fantastic. <laughs> so I will be, um, I'll be keen to, to speak to any of you uh, from now on, and we'll be pushing that sort of movement to bring about change, positive change. Great. Okay? So Very thank great. you. I'll be watching you. No problem. No problem. So this is where time will bring us, uh, viewers. I'd like to say a big thank you for staying in tune with us. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and it's AndyDTV. This is the Hour Show.